Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry, this is me going Q3 of the Weekly Contest 397, Maximum Differences Score in a, a Grid. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, let me know what you think about this one. So this one is a fun one. Um, <clears throat> I think there are a lot of things you can think about this problem um, with this getting the delta, but the key part is noticing that the, the problem is not path dependent, right? What do I mean by that? Let's say you, in this example, um, I guess I don't need this ask you right. In, in example one, if we go from nine to 14, right, upper corner left, nine to 14, it doesn't matter which path you take because all the things cancel out, right? So let's actually, uh, I wish I could, oh, I guess I could cupcake this, right? So the idea here is that, okay, let's take a look real quick as one example. And I'm a little bit sad that I took 10 minutes on this problem during the contest because I had some typos that I had to debug for so long. But yeah, but let's say you go 9 to 14, right? Well, if you, what does that mean? Well, let's say we go 9 to 8 to 6 to 14, right, as one path. That means that 9 goes to 8, it's going to be negative 1, negative 1, negative 2, and then plus 8 is going to be plus 5, right? But another way to think about this is that you have 9... Uh, I think it's actually 8 minus 9 <clears throat> plus 6 minus 8 plus <clears throat> 14 minus 9, right? But if you take a look at this, well, what do you see? The negative 8 and the 8 cancels out. Uh, I think I messed this up. Uh, oh, th this is... Wait, what? Oh, this is 6. That's why. Sorry. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. The 8 and the negative 8 cancels out. The 6 and the negative 6 cancels out. And then what do you have left? 19 minus 9, right? So then now, and every path that you do will, will have the same thing. Like if you go 9 to 7 and 14, it's the same idea, right? Every intermediate path cancels out. So what does this mean? This means that in a greedy kind of way, given every cell, you just look at the biggest cell either um, to that quadrant of lower right, that is not this number. And that's pretty much how I attempt to solve this problem by dynamic programming this way. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Remember, it is not path dependent. So then now I just set the DP. I go, okay, for, for this cell, if we're at IJ, we look at, we get the maximum um, from either bottom or left, right? And of course, this is a prefix max, right? So, so by the time you get to IJ, and you could practice this out yourself, um, this will give you the, the maximum result. And yeah, and then now you get the maximum result of the lower right, which is what R is, and then you minus the grid, which is the current thing, and then you update the DP for, for uh, from these three things. And that's it. Um, this is going to be linear time, linear space, right? This is all time C space and time, which is linear because that is the size of the input we call. So yeah, this is pretty maximal, uh, pretty optimal and minimal. And yeah, pretty straightforward. Let me know what you think. And yeah, that's pretty much it. The, the key observation is that the path is independent. So you're always going to end up at, at, at a cell that's lower to the right, that quadrant. And when you, and because you can choose any to end that, you do choose the maximum one to get to maximize the score for this current cell, which is what we have here. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. It's a very cute observation. I, you can watch the live portion. You can see where I made the typo because I had the idea pretty, pretty quickly, to be honest. But yeah, you can watch that now. Three, negative one. Either to the bottom or to the right. Not necessarily Jason, okay. This will move. Zero one. To T. 
two one so seventy five okay so it's like a hill climbing thing right hmm how do I want to do this I feel like this is the same farm as before, to be honest. But you always want to move to the max. No, that's not true. So then it's going to be n squared if you're not careful. There's so, and then there's a loop. So that, yeah, that's going to be n cubed, I mean, uh, n squared. How do we do it? So you can't put force on every cell as starting. You can put force on every cell as ending. Right, ending here. <coughs> you only want to make one move. That's not true. You could, get, you could go crooked. Hmm. I feel like I'm struggling with this one for some reason. Even though it's pretty DP. But. but. No, no, no. Okay, this is a dumb problem, isn't it? 5, 14. Because it's just the absolute value of two things, right? Yeah, I'm just being dumb. Okay. That's a, that's a easier problem because everything is distributive or whatever. Okay, so then now what, how do I do it? Should have gotten it though, if that's the case, but uh, I guess we'll see. Um, I guess it is fine. Max value. Mm, that's not quite yet, right? Okay. Because you have to move at least once, right?
Because I subtract negative infinity in the corner. Also, this is not right. This is. Okay, that's really wrong. So, yeah, I guess at least we're doing something. <coughs> Put the TP for now. Should have had this one already, to be honest. Uh, but I'm getting something wrong here, that's why. Because this should not be zero, I guess that's why. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, I guess this happens to be called this. That propagates incorrectly. Okay. okay. Um, zero, zero, we make one move. Yeah, okay, I mean, it's almost close. Is that right? <sighs> eight, why am I eight? So that from five to 14, right? It's gonna be nine. Man, I hate this. I hate debugging. One is going to be one, three, one. Fourteen and s so five is zero one. Zero one five is seven. Why is that seven? So I messed up something. This is not propagating upwards. Um hmm. It's still wrong. Oh, this is dumb. We wrote it in a dumb way. Okay. Uh, negative one. Hopefully, this is good. No silly mistake, please. Oops. Oh, two. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this contest. Stay good, stay healthy to your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.